my room and this is the bathroom so I got here this morning at 2 o'clock I got here at about 5 30 it's currently now 8 a.m. I have had literally no sleep my eyes can't even stay open I was greeted at the airport by Masiga his sister by me and one of his close friends when I walked through the arrival doors the embrace and the welcome that i received made all those little fears and doubts of coming here alone go away and spending two and a half or three hours in a car with them in the middle of the night it's it's like a story that i'm going to tell in like five years time and the crazy thing is they were just so appreciative that i actually was true to my word and said that i was going to come and here i am i have no idea what the plan is it's just one of those moments in life where I, I just have to go with it. Literally, like the whole plan is out of my control. Yeah, this is our village. This is home where I come from, where I grew up. So where we're heading is where we get water. Yeah, so let's move around. So how much water do you have to carry normally per day? For jerry cans, 120 liters. Wow. Because it's jerry can, why is 20 liters? Yes. It's just a well. Just Water a well. comes from underground yeah. and it has been here since I grew up. That times it's not that much safe for human consumption. So we need to find a way out to make it more pure. So it's not really drinkable? Well, other people drink it, but yeah, in most cases they boil it before. The national language here is English and Swahili. In the village it's Lusoga, Lusoga. Yeah, that's the language that we speak here. <laughs> so I've made a new friend today. Yeah. Her name is Rania. Nice She's killing it with her outfit. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> lovely meeting you. <laughs> it's day two now. The welcome that I've had from the people here has been incredible. Everybody is so kind. Everybody is so nice. I am pretty much the only foreigner in this whole entire village. But yeah, we pretty much spent the entire day with Masiga and his family. And Masiga had said to me that being here kind of brings hope. I'm really glad that I connected with Masiga. I got the opportunity to come here to experience his life, to experience his family and what it's like living here in a village that is growing, but it still just puts everything else into perspective. Like going home now for me is going to be such a challenge because I've just spent so much time in places that aren't so built up and developed and seeing how people live, like it breaks my heart. But yeah, it just puts everything into perspective and I just, I feel really humbled, I feel really fulfilled, I feel really excited for what is possible because there's so much possibility. I think that's the whole point of why I'm here. It's actually to experience it myself so that I can actually go out and show people the gift of giving opportunity and giving hope to somebody is worth more than anything else in the world. And if you can help a person feel seen and heard, that will go a long, long, long way for a person. Oi! <laughs> now one by one, one by one, one. So, so good! <laughs> Are we both getting on? <laughs> We are seeing Brenda, Brenda and the mother. So this is where we are heading. Here we are here with Brenda, mm -hmm. Brenda and the mother, uh, who has been sick for almost 25 years. And how do you know Brenda? She's my childhood friend. Oh. Yeah. It's my last night here in Uganda. Well, it's my last 
night before tomorrow I head back to the airport. Literally have to leave here at 6 p.m. because it's a three hour car ride to get to the airport from this village. And then from the village, I go to the airport and then I'm sitting at the airport for a few hours and then my flight leaves at 5 a.m. to Istanbul where I have a 14 hour layover. So today I literally did nothing because I actually did not feel well. And instant paranoia set in because last night I got eaten alive by mosquitoes. So today I just honestly laid down the whole day because I did not feel good. But that's okay because tomorrow's a new day and I'm very excited because tomorrow we get to go to the orphanage and see the kids and meet them all and yeah. So tell us where we're going now. Right now we are heading to the orphanage. It's in the Deer District. Eastern Division. The village is called Kapianga. That's where we are heading now. <laughs> Uganda is a wrap. I am heading to the airport now. We just went and saw the orphanage and saw the kids and it was really beautiful. They're so freaking adorable. That was really special to be able to see the impact that a small group of people back home made um, simply by keeping the lights on in the place. Still so much work to be done. I don't know what that looks like going forward, but it was cool to just witness it and see it. Thank you, Uganda. And we are on to the next. So thank you for inviting me to your hometown and village. You're welcome. This is a story about how someone reached out to me on Instagram and then I flew to his country and met his family. Welcome to Uganda. <laughs> thank you for the beast. No, thank you for the warm welcome. Yeah.